to guys. Hey, I'm back here today with the Traxxas Max, and I just wanted to show you guys uh, one quick upgrade for the Traxxas Max, and that is going to be the T-Bone Racing. Uh, these are the rear mud guards. That is the part number, 62215. Up, and I'll show you how to put them on real quick. So let's do it. All right guys, so let's check this out. You know, when you're building your RC cars and you're upgrading them, guys, weight is everything. Uh, I try to stay away from as much weight as possible, but these are going to help save the axles on the truck and keep mud off the shock shafts. So we'll get a weight on these. All right, so here we go. Turn on the scale. Tear it out. This is the hardware. 2.1 grams. So all together guys, you're gonna add about almost 20 grams. So 19 and a half grams for the T-Bone Racing, part number is 62215. So here we go guys, let's put them on. All right, so we have left and we have a right, okay? We got a left and we got a right. And it looks to me like the side is gonna be the left. Look at that guys. Gonna go right in those holes right there. You put one screw in this hole, and with the hardware provided, and you're gonna have to lift the truck up, and then you're gonna put the next screw right there, the very inside of the arm. So, we're gonna take it off the stand. And I'm gonna start with the one on the outside. And it takes a two millimeter hex, guys. That's pretty sweet. Almost got the first one installed. So for this next one, you kind of have to lift up the truck. For this back one here, and the piece is straight, guys. But what you're gonna wanna do is screw it into place and it's just gonna take shape. It's gonna bend. And what that does when it bends is it pulls it off the top. It's pulling it back off of this. That's perfect. So when the suspension articulates, it's not hitting that top. arm so we'll tighten up this one the rest of the way all right guys so they provide you with these little short screws I'm just gonna go back and replace these with some longer ones so that's my tip for this video these look to be about six millimeters and the part is one millimeter guys so I would suggest using at least a ten millimeter so there we go there it is First one's installed, check that out. Let me get you off of here. All right, so. All right guys, look at this. Try to, it's kind of hard because it's dark. There's a gap right there. Maybe you can see it like that. Check that out, there's a gap. It's not touching the arm. Those parts just screw right in right there underneath the chassis and right there on the outside of the arm okay guys quick tip I would suggest getting 10 millimeter uh, screws at least all right so let's put on the other side and we'll get out on the street and test them out so really cheap upgrade guys for the X for the max super cheap probably the cheapest one there is and and it actually is functional 
So this is a functional modification. This modification takes about five minutes. This video is probably going to be about five minutes is all. So there we go, guys. Check it out. Got them installed. They look good. They're going to work good. Fully functional. Only need a couple of tools. Awesome, guys. So, guys. If you do like this video, please do hit the subscribe button right there in the corner. Um, leave me a like and a thumbs up and a comment. Um, and we'll catch you guys tomorrow.